We are Love by Camping, inside girl, outside guy, inspiring others to get outside and explore God's landscape. Hey folks, we're out here at Riverwalk RV Park in Jonesville, North Carolina. Me and wifey. Tell me what you think about the RV Park. This is like our home park, so it's about 50 minutes from where we live and we love it here. It's very quaint. The owners are amazing. Every Saturday they usually plan activities for campers. Um, lots of stuff to do for kids as far as if they bring their bikes. It's sitting right on the Yatkin River. So I like it. So anyway, we're just going to walk and show you what's going on at, the, at this park. There's lots of activities for kids, people. So they have most of their sites are pull-in. They have a few that are actually back-end sites, which we really like. Um, the owners are RVers themselves, and he owned a grading company. So most of the sites are really level, so it doesn't take you a lot to get level. So here's the, I guess, the bathroom and laundry facility people. The bathrooms are really clean. I like that. And let's look in the laundry. So not a lot going on in the laundry, but a nice place. It's inside. We've been to campgrounds before where the laundry was sort of outside. So you had leaves and that kind of thing. So it's definitely clean in here. They even have where you can pay with your phone. So just in case you don't have quarters or anything like that, they have a pay with your phone system for the laundry. It's convenient. Yeah. See? Not bad, not bad. Nice and clean. Guys, I'm not going into the uh, ladies' bathroom. We show you in the men's bathroom what that looks like. One of the things we like the most about camping are the amazing people we get to meet. And she said, why would you forfeit? We haven't even started. So I said, I need a partner. And then we were like, okay, I found somebody. <laughs> and it was just magic. And y'all are going to win. And we're going to go first place. These are the winners. Y'all guarantee <laughs> victory? Yeah, guarantee, guarantee. victory. <laughs> All right. But here's the thing. She was like, I don't corn no. I was like, that's why we're going to win. <laughs> She and her husband Jim own Riverwalk, and so we just got it. wanted to talk to her for a few minutes just to ask a couple questions. So, first right. question is, why did you open Riverwalk? Well, first of all, thank you too for interviewing me because you know I love to talk. <laughs> um, we actually opened Riverwalk. We've uh, we're in December now of our first year. We opened in June. We actually were building for two years. So prior to COVID or anything like that. Um, we've spent most of our, my husband's career and then my son's career, they raced motocross professionally in a toy hauler. And so our weekends were spent uh, with community, uh, just like uh, how we are here at the campground. So we were hanging out with the same families, you know, grilling out, just having such a great time together. And uh, we kind of, one weekend I said, let's just go camping elsewhere. And so I wanted to go to Asheville. Well, we couldn't find a spot pre-COVID couldn't find a spot. Uh, people wouldn't call us back. We were getting answering machines. Nobody kept cancellation lists. And uh, my husband and I have always kind of wondered, you know, what are we going to do after retirement? You know, what, or how are we going to get there? And we're all, we're, we have entrepreneurial minds. And so we're always trying to think of stuff. And he came in and he sat down and he said, I think I know what we're going to do. And he told me his experience. He said, I think we can do this and do it a little better than what he experienced. So now we have our own park and our own spot whenever we want it. <laughs> we don't have to get on a list. And um, we also have a retirement opportunity for ourselves as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so what do you like the most about being owners? Oh, that's easy. Um, we, uh, what we enjoy the most, and I'll speak for both of us, is exactly what I said a while ago, the community part of it. 
Um, we've met so many friends. It's like we have the same and different camping buddies every single week. Um, here we have, I have a food truck, I have events. I call it sit back and relax Saturdays. We do bingo, we go to cornhole tournaments. Um, every single Saturday there's something fun going on the park and everybody's able to meet on the beach area and the big, it's a big community. And uh, that's the most rewarding part of it all. And we had no idea how rewarding it would be. Great, so most people had a challenging 2020. Mm -hmm. So what would you say was the most challenging thing for you guys here at Riverwood? Um, well, for us, the, the biggest challenge that we faced was unfortunately the uh, hurricanes, back-to-back um, -back hurricanes, two weeks apart. Um, but, you know, we, we look at challenges as obstacles and God gives them to us for that reason. Um, you know, everything was going so smooth and <laughs> everybody's rolling down the hill. We met all these great friends and all of a sudden, uh, because we're, we're located on the river, we had back-to-back -back hurricanes and we had to rebuild our park within two weeks apart both times um, and the hubby and you know a few friends did so in, in, in a five-day period so we could open again for all of our guests and you know it isn't anything we could have prepared for unfortunately but at least uh, you know God took us through everything in the daylight help us understand and uh, he just led us through so uh, that would be our biggest obstacle our only obstacle that I can think of well, we thoroughly enjoy it here at Riverwalk. It's actually amazing. And I want to say what makes it the most amazing is the customer service. Aww. I am huge, huge, huge on how I'm treated. And if you guys want to be treated like family, then you need to come and RV at Riverwalk. Okay. On the way up. All right. Thank you. All right. They have an awesome store. So they've got wonderful Riverwalk stuff. We just picked us up some Riverwalk hats. And... Turn around, let's see your hat, babe. You know Definitely. what? Definitely. Oh, I need this too. Yeah, she just trying to be like me. She wanted this hat. I, I had to, she had to go back and get another one. I, you know, my husband says it all the time. I have to match it. And by the way, this is Jane, this okay? Is Jane. If you're ever in Riverwalk, Jane will take care of you. <laughs> Ask for Jane. <laughs> right, Jane? Jane, wow. help me pick this beautiful hat up. <laughs> <laughs> they have, you know, your stuff. If you ran out of a few things, if you needed something, they've got some things here. Uh -huh. But there are lots of shopping close by. So there are two grocery stores that are like really, really close. Um, but there's also a Dollar General that's close. There's a Food Lion that's not too far away. Big lots. So although um, we are kind of out just a little bit, they do have lots of shopping right on the highway and all that kind of stuff so if you needed anything you know get here late and out of your toilet paper they got you covered so riverwalk has a greenway that you can travel you can bike you can walk if you want if you like you're the kind of person that likes to get out early in the morning for a brisk walk this is the spot part of a trailway system is called the jonesville greenway and it's right on the yatkin river really pretty. <laughs> hey, I dare you to jump in that water. I double dare you. I dare you to jump in the Yakinville River. Yes. I will not jump in the Yakinville. I get you out. I know no, you no, can't no, no, swim, no. We've but we already had that discussion, guys. We already had that discussion. No. I triple dog dare you. I triple dog dare you that I will not jump in the water. A is cold too. Who knows what kind of critters are down there waiting for me to get in? So no. There's no critters in that water. Okay, well you get Maybe in that in. Fish, but there's no critters. Yet. Okay. See, there I may just, be what snakes. I said critters, like oh, fish. Fish. Okay. There are no alligators. It should be too cold for snakes. Well, go ahead and get in there. No, 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 no. That's okay. When we camp, we like to take in some of the local landscape. So we took a hike to see Carter Falls. We're at Carter Falls Trailhead. And one sign you need to notice before you start. Really folks? You think I wanna go in these woods? You know how we are in woods.
next time you're gonna get me in these woods. You hear me? What's up? Keep going, babe. Right Watch your step. I want to go to look back at me. Wait a minute. Hold up, player. Uh -uh. <laughs> Yeah, be careful. Be careful, dude. All right, fam, we finally made it. It wasn't that bad. The Dirty Joe's offer. They had pastries, they have smoothies, and the girls got some other kind of probably iced coffee drink. But get into that. Mm -mm. And you're not gonna share? Absolutely not. Oh wow! You are the one. Jeff is the one that doesn't like to share his food. I not know. me. You I can't, like you to can't share. share. Hmm? Michelle. And where are you from, Michelle? I am originally from Alabama, but I've been in Winston-Salem for 20 years, and awesome. now I'm in Boonville with Ooh. my fiance. And we're fixing to get married. Wait, this is our going to be our third marriage. Fourth, wait, one, two, three, fourth marriage. Fourth marriage. And <laughs> so we're blending, blending, blending. And so we have seven children between us and okay. two grandchildren. And the Lord has been mighty good to us. Amen. And we, I don't know if I believed in soulmates before, but yeah, so um, yeah. we call it spiritual couple. Hey, my name's Ariana. Hi, I'm Anaya. So what did you guys like about camping? My favorite part about camping is definitely the amenities that the camp resorts have to offer. Like some of them have pools and I like going to the pool, so. And my favorite part about camping is staying in the RV. 